What's up guys, it's the Carp here, back again with another video. This is going to be a Marquee Matchups Squad Bitter Challenge video, and uh, I went ahead and input, like, I, I put in all the players um, that uh, I needed to complete the challenges. The Premier League one, possibly a little expensive, we got some high-rated players in there. Um, Walcott could even be worth something, he's the only Arsenal player I had in the club, so that's why I used him. Okay, he's not worth much. Um, I don't think these guys are worth that much either. I know Boney's not. Uh, Sun might be, but, uh, you know, I don't actually have a plethora of Premier League players in the uh, the club right now, so I've got, I've had to use a lot of those guys in there. Uh, but Premium Gold Players Pack from that, and then we go to Sparta versus Feyenoord, and uh, this one was a little bit easier uh, because it, the requirements weren't that bad. Um, <clears throat> no real players of note in there, you know, just a couple of bronzes and silvers that could be worth a little bit, but not too much. Uh, you know, as long as they're not worth like 5,000 coins or something, I don't really care um, about trading them in. And then we've got the, uh, the Saudi League one, which was actually kind of difficult, uh, just because I don't, I don't have like that many Saudi players in the club, because there was a Skullbitter challenge that came out a while ago that, uh, made all of their prices go up to where you could sell them at, for at least a minimum of 200. So I got rid of every one of them in my club, uh, so then I didn't have many left over. The only ones that I had in there were from uh, doing the bronze pack method a little bit more. And um, <clears throat> it was the same way with the uh, the MLS one as well. Didn't have too many players here because I've used them for... Uh, I, I have the uh, the squad bear challenge Giovinco. So uh, I lost a lot of players there. But we had enough to just barely to complete it because you had to have 11 different clubs. Uh, but so yeah, so there's that one completed as well, and that is all of them done. So there we go, premium silver players pack, I think it was, uh, and then there we go. The challenge is complete. We've got a mega pack there, decent stuff. Hopefully we can get uh, one of these man of the match cards that are in the team of the week right now. Uh, if you can see them um, here, maybe. Okay. Oh, they. I really hope they didn't just go out of packs. They might actually have just went out of packs. That is tragic, if that's the case. I saw them somewhere, like, just a little bit ago. Oh, no. I think they're out of packs. For fuck's sake. Yeah, they definitely are. Oh, well. Well, hopefully we can get just, you know, that Lewandowski instead. That'd be, you know, that'd be pretty good, I guess. I would, I'd take that. Uh, so we're going to start off with the silver pack. It's not, uh, not too bad. We could get something good in here. Didn't get an inform, but, uh... Hopefully we've got a couple of good uh, good players here. Ooh, he could be worth something. Possibly. 3,000. Alright, I'm liking this. 25, 17. Alright, it's going down. But uh, 17 there. So, decent for him. I'm going to put him up for 1,300. <clears throat> Actually, he's got 80 pace and 72 defending and 71 physical for a 72 rated center back. That is pretty good. we got another guy from the same club, I believe. Uh, is the guy that we just so just put up on the market. He's not worth as much. I'm not going to bother looking through. Um, who else do we got? We got a Portuguese league player here. Could, could be worth something given his position. All right, he's not worth that much. Um, who else do we got? We got this guy. Uh, this this squad better challenge just came out. He could be worth something. Not worth too much. I'm going to go through. I've got a load of those players from that league, the Japanese league of my club. I'm just going to go through later and uh, clear them out. Got an Italian league player here. Genoa could... Uh, okay, they, they must have enough gold players for him not to be worth anything. Um, and that guy will just look later. Alright, so not too bad. I mean, we got one player that we sold there. A couple players are worth a little bit. Uh, we got two rare gold players pack up next. Can we get anything here? Doesn't look like we're going to. Dos Santos Hernandez. Wow, 83 rated. That is pretty decent. That was a, that was a pretty small flare. I wasn't expecting a high rated player. We got two Mexicans in there, two very good Mexicans. Uh, I want to try out Herrera, and I think it's another guy from... Is it Guard... I, I don't know. I, I, it's either another guy from Portugal, or from uh, from Porto, or another guy from Mexico. I know there's Guardado, uh, but I want to make a, a squad with those two players, and I think it's another guy from Porto who also has like really well-rounded stats. Uh, but uh, into the next pack, small flare there, left wing... His name Bohemian. It's Bohemian. All right, so another 83 rated player. That is pretty damn decent. Uh, this might be an upgraded card. I know he either got an upgrade this year or last year. Maybe a skills upgrade last year. Does he have five star? He got four star. I don't know. And then Vieira, who is an upgrade. 
he might have even went from non-rare to rare. Regardless, so he's not worth anything, but 82 rated, that is a, that's a decent pack. I mean, none of those players are really worth much, but, you know, a couple of high-rated players. It's always nice to have high-rated players in the club, so I'll take it. We'll send him to the transfer list. We've actually got a lot of players in the transfer list right now. Uh, there's a few silvers in there that I invested in. A couple of, uh, a couple of St. Patrick's Day uh, players. Hope, well, you know, I Irish players for the inevitable St. Patrick's Day squad better challenges, which will, which will hopefully skyrocket, th skyrocket their value. Last year, so many people anticipated that it was going to happen uh, that, they, like, all the players' values just plummeted as soon as the um, the tournament came out last year. Hopefully that doesn't happen this year. Uh, I haven't invested too much in it, and, you know, the players aren't really going to drop much lower than what I paid for them. I also got a couple of silver players which are no longer in packs, and a couple of gold players that are no longer in packs that are Irish, so I'm hoping to make some profits there. That could be nice. We're going to sell these stadiums as well. Okay, so this pack wasn't that great. Didn't even get a, uh, a rare player, but uh, the big pack and the last pack is up next. Mega pack, 18 rare items. Can we get a walkout? Probably not. No. Uh, 82 rated, Sigurdsson. It is Sigurdsson, who is 82 rated. I feel like he could have had an upgrade, but he's probably not worth much anyways. So, I mean, we got... 283 rated, play 283 rated players, 282 rated players, uh, so decent enough stuff. Was it worth it? Uh, I mean, overall, we probably made a little bit of profits. I mean, we basically just traded a couple of rare gold players for a couple of other rare gold players. Um, but, uh, hey, I mean, we got a couple of high rated players, so decent stuff. Uh, we got another fitness card. I mentioned this in another video, but I need to go and sell those. I'm not sure how much they're worth right now, but... I'm sure I've got uh, a lot of them. Been doing a lot of squad better challenges. Pretty much every one that, uh, that comes out, I do. Uh, so we're going to send those guys to the trade pile. We're going to store the rest in the club. And that's going to be the end of this video. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys.